Welcome to this week's market drama. We'll begin with the S&P 500, which sold off 1.6% for the week. NASDAQ sold off a little bit less, down half a percent for the week. Uh, they are up 7.4% year to date and 7.8% year to date uh, accordingly. When it comes to the reasons why the market sold off, there was geopolitical tensions and hotter um, inflation numbers, right? So in the geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, uh, Iranian uh, strike on Israel definitely uh, sent some volatility to the markets. And the biggest headline uh, economic data point was US CPI data, right? Inflation data. So consumer prices went up 3.5% year over year in March up from 3.2 the prior year. Well, that's the headline number, which incorporates food and energy, and energy prices have gone up, right? Oil prices have gone up uh, over uh, the last couple of months. If you strip that out, core CPI uh, was flat, steady at 3.8%, which was slightly above the expectations. So CPI is losing its downward momentum. This is definitely something that the market took uh, notice. Uh, the best way to kind of see that is if you look at what the market is pricing for the probability of cut uh, of the Federal Reserve cutting rates in June, a month ago, the probability was 72%. You fast forward four weeks after this recent CPI number, the probability of a cut is now 21%. Right, so the market's starting to realize that the Federal Reserve might actually not cut in June. Uh, I mentioned this in the last couple uh, market dramas, which is I actually don't think the Fed has to cut rates this year for the market to, to keep going up higher. If the reason that CPI is a little bit more stubborn and coming down from current rate uh, levels is because the economy is doing really well. So as long as the economy holds up, even if it takes longer for this inflation number to continue to come down. And remember, the reason that CPI is holding up is services, uh, the services aspect of our economy. Services is going to be affected by the fact that employment remains well below historical averages. Uh, and we, that means wage pressure is going to keep some of this inflation stubbornly uh, higher than, than we would expect. So, if, this hap if all this is happening because the economy has been fairly resilient, I think the markets could hold up. Sure, there'll be some volatility in the way um, every week, every month. That's just what's expected from the stock market. So we got to keep an eye on the economy. We have to keep an eye on our earnings for, for companies which continue to perform fairly well. Next week, we have retail sales da data, which will give us a fairly good picture of how the consumer is doing. It's a reminder, the consumer uh, accounts for the largest chunk of GDP. Right. So if the consumer is holding up. Uh, it's highly likely that the economy will continue to hold up. That is it for this week. Stay tuned for next week.